So the project arose out of a conversation that Judith Sachs, the previous provost at Macquarie University, had when she was chairing some teaching awards at Lund University in Sweden. She thought with conversations with her peers over there and her, the colleagues at Lund that it perhaps was time to look at an international project around peer review. Peer review as a, a quality enhancement activity. So we, she came back and she spoke to all of the associate medean, uh, deans at Macquarie University. Um, and we put together a funding proposal to, at the time it was the Australian Learning and Teaching Council, but it's now called the Office for Learning and Teaching, to fund a project around communication skills, around interpersonal relationships, and around emotions in peer review process, to enable staff to be comfortable enough in the process to be able to look on it as a quality enhancement activity, as opposed to the usual kind of quality assurance. So the project involved four universities, Macquarie University and La Trobe University from Australia, as well as Lund University from Sweden and Pretoria University from South Africa. Those universities each split up to um, conduct research in their, each, in their own universities. Um, at Macquarie University, we engaged around 25 people. Um, we looked on those people as co-researchers throughout the entire project. Uh, so we set up a project approach, or research approach, that allowed the academics to investigate their own use of peer review in a kind of an action research project, um, very much focused on communication skills and interpersonal skills in the peer review process. And from that we developed some resources that we hope will enable all members of the higher education sector to improve their teaching through peer review. For me, the project developed two really significant outcomes. So as you know, peer review has been used in North America, for example, for a number of years, and it's very well supported. There's been a number of really interesting projects um, across Australia as well. What's significant about this project is we've managed to develop a really flexible model that can be adapted to institutions across the higher education sector, not just in Australia, but elsewhere. So this comes out both in the peer review volume from Springer, in which you'll find a number of chapters on the theoretical basis for peer review that can inform a number of models, as well as practical examples also comes out in the freely available resources that are framed around particular questions that you need to ask when developing either a peer review relationship or a peer review system. Um, and for me, it's that adaptability, that flexibility in the model that makes it really significant.